Hey everyone, it's Tracking Pat, and on this basic video, we're gonna talk about how to do rotations. So uh, what I'm gonna do is make a pocket and then rotate it a couple times so you see how it works. But at first, I wanna explain to you the difference between subroutine rotates and copy rotates. So with a copy, I make new entities. So if I have one event and I rotate it twice, I'm gonna end up with three. If I use subroutine and I have one piece, and I rotate it twice, I'm only gonna have two events. The second two rotations are gonna be in the second event. Okay, so we're gonna use copy for this demonstration, but let's get started. So first I'm gonna to go to program mode. Like usual, I'm gonna to go to the beginning and I'm gonna start out by making a circular pocket. So I go to pocket and I select circle. And the first thing that I realize is I know kind of where I want this pocket, but I don't actually know the X and Y dimensions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use the math help to figure this out. So I'm gonna to go to math, I'm gonna look under Polar Cartesians and go to F. And the very first one up here is type 25, which says if you wanna figure out what the X and Y coordinations are on a certain angle, use this, okay? So I'm gonna to go to 25, and I'm gonna put in here that I want a one and three quarter inch radius at 45 degrees. And that shows me a solution of where the center of that is going to be, okay? So with that being there, I'm going to say that I wanna load the center and push back, and you'll see it's in the beginning of my program. Now I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna start filling in the rest of the information. So I'm gonna use the same information I've been using all along with my other basics. So I'm gonna use a radius of 3 eighths and I'm gonna put it in a counterclockwise direction so that it climb mills. Do it in one pass, I'm gonna come straight down and I'm gonna use no finish cut. 3000 RPM, five inches to get in, 20 to machine with tool number three. And there's my circle. Okay, now I'm gonna hit the more key and I'm gonna to go to copy and select that I wanna rotate Z axis. Now this is something I get questions on a lot so I'm gonna explain it. They say, why does it say rotate Z axis? I'm not rotating the Z axis. That's true, but here's the Z axis and I'm rotating all the way around it and that's why it's called rotate Z axis, okay? Clear enough, I hope. So in here it's asking, what do I wanna rotate? I only have one event, so both of the first two questions are answered with number one. I'm rotating around zero, zero at 45 degrees two more times. And when I push the look button, you'll see that I have all three. Now let's say that that center circle needed to be larger than the other two. Because I use copy, I can just back up to event two and come down here and change that radius from being three eighths to being a half inch. It instantly changes the second event and leaves the first and the third alone. Okay, so now that I've got that done, I'm gonna hit the mode key and go to run mode. I'm gonna push start, right? And I'm gonna push tracking to make sure I'm in the right place. Tells me to turn on the spindle like normal, right? And push go. I'm gonna bring it over to the beginning. Stop just above, it looks good to me. I'm gonna hit stop, CNC run and go. And there you have it, a very simple way to rotate something that's already in your program and put it in a different position. Hopefully you got this one right too. If not, watch it again. I'll see you in the next video. And remember to keep on tracking.